Hey, 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 we feel what it do. Welcome back to the We Feel, y'all. Welcome to you. If you knew, if you knew, hey, welcome to the We Feel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in. Welcome to you. I pray that you guys have had a great day, an absolutely wonderful day. We are starting this recording on 7-27-2023. By the time it get posted, because it takes a very long time on YouTube to post it, it'll be most likely 7-28-2023. Um, this is your girl, La. La T, here at Tears and We Throw Show, where you show enough, never know what you're going to get. I don't know if this is a little fuzzy. I think I, I thought I wiped off my camera, but it looked a little bit blurry. Let me put y'all in the dark for a second while I just double check it and make sure it's pretty clear. Get a good close up on your girl. Wipe this off a bit and see if it clears up some. Yeah, I think that looked a little bit clearer. Anywho, thank y'all for indulging me putting yourself in the dark. The card that we just had on here was grief. Oh, look at that. It's right back. Grief. Tears are what happen when the ice in the heart melts. Is somebody's heart melting? Are they feeling some grief about something? I see guidance. Guidance. I shuffled a couple of decks of cards. Um... I shuffled the money deck and I shuffled the holy grail to roll. I shuffled the mini kipper in this one right here. Which one are you? The divine abundance, I believe this is. Divine abundance. Sanctity is here and taking the right action. Sanctity is through offering even the most mundane problem can be sacrament and taking the right action says a paragrapha. A Paragraha, Afra, whatever. Y'all read it. That A word right there at the bottom. Aprigraha, Aprigraha literally means let everything that wants to go, go. And everything that wants to come, come. Whoa. Do you want that? No, this. Alright, sanctity. Oh, and we got a card that's stuck in here that shouldn't be. Grief is back out again. Maybe, so I see divine source and intuition. Extraordinary grief and right action. Just kind of filling out this energy right now. Challenge. Mm. And this is one that doesn't even belong here. It's a different card. Allow me to flow with what cannot change. Let me embrace all the tests and release any fear of loss, knowing that all can be replenished with ease by divine will. So we're going to keep that divine source. Let me help me know that all of my deepest needs will be met. I'm feeling somebody feeling a sense of loss and grief, or maybe, you know, it's just a sentiment of letting things go and letting them be what will go will go. And what will come with come. That's like the sentiment of hold on lightly, right? Not holding on too tight so that you will be okay with whatever falls away and let it look at us. Look at that. I'm sitting up here saying that. Letting go, like holding on lightly, the ability to release. Things can go away and new things can come in. But anytime you let things go or something gets taken away from you, there's always some sentiment of loss um, that is associated with that. And to be kind of okay and be joyous about whatever is falling away and, what, and receive what's coming in can be difficult, right? Because we have attachments to things and we kind of don't want things to end. Even if you want it to end, it's something that you welcome the ending. You still have a situation. <laughs> you still have a situation. You still have an emotion, a sentiment about the transitioning. That's what we were trying to grab. Everything is indeed out of control and God will hold it all. I can safely let go. Yeah grounded, staying rooted and staying grounded and going with the flow.
yeah outrageous openness dear love open me to your will release me from any attachments didn't i just say that it teach me uh, release me from any attachments oh attachments surprise and delight me with your plan you know what's needed and i'm open to receive it i literally just said that thank you so much for speaking through me if there's any other energy that's in this space that seeks to cause confusion please block it out thank you beloved thank you seal my channel close the door only that which is the eternal lord of all hosts yes that inner power is here blocking out anything that will come against your will that is not in perfect alignment with your will the alpha the omega the beginning and the end yes let your words speak and speak and move on the breath let it be for i have a word baked in i am the word that you have sent to bring this message and let it flow forward on your breath of life the gift that animates me in the present we are safe we are whole we are complete there's none broken and there's nothing missing I am sealed and I am protected. Pull me into your inner sanctuary and surround me. Inner power. If you would say so by your authority, that it be so, so mold it is. So mold it be. Yeah, somebody's forgetting something. Either moving too fast, skipping steps and protection, companionship is here, giving someone your complete presence is an astonishing gift, and taking the right action. There's something... There's a letting go and there's a receiving that's happening. And someone is definitely having a sentiment of grief with the release of the attachments. The ability to hold on lightly. Freedom. To let something have its freedom. To let go and have its freedom. To let it be free. You may be challenged with that, with the change. Something is changing. We saw beauty in the money deck and we saw offering. We saw new money and offering. I feel like somebody is moving into a whole different phase of life. Like a lot of things are changing. Gratitude is here. You will have gratitude for the letting go, moving into a new space of freedom. Or letting go brings you gratitude for the ability to be free. Fill me with gratitude for all you give. May I be the vehicle for you wherever I go. I am a willing, surrendered vessel. Yes. I feel like this is like the Ace of Cups. A spiritual cup. And something is... Um, that's a spiritual cup. The hummingbird feels like a spiritual representation. Yeah. I feel like it's suckling off of the goodness of what's in the cup. I hear child in the spirit, like, um, people will come to drink out of your cup, or your cup is so full that you will feed them from your cup, like a sweet nectar. Maybe, you know, your love and kindness is in the cup, and people, it's so full that people will come and drink from it, like, it's, yeah, full of gratitude, and you are able to feed feel others I feel but then maybe I no longer want this fiery ring of resentment to block the good release me from its bind it's something about yeah letting go coming to freedom being released from the binds of something and then being grateful about the release 
right now. It's happening for somebody now. Divine Source, help me know that all my deepest needs will be met. Let me trust that you have the right plan and the right actions. And we kept seeing right action come out. You are my source for it all. And then digging into your intuition. Each person's road to the inner Lord is extraordinary and personal. How liberating to listen to the inside and sense moment to moment what's needed. So maybe somebody is coming to understand what it is that they need in order to get to their inner spirit, their heart, to open up their heart, to open up their heart. Yeah, you don't want this, no. You want to just set it there. Don't look at it. Okay. And maybe on their own personal journey, right, um, they have to release their own problems, let things go. And do it in their own way so that they can be led to freedom. There will be some gratitude that is um, developed out of this. Some spiritual development you will have. I think your cup will be replenished or it will you will have space to be filled up even more and it says right now stay in the present and don't get too ahead of the flow you'll soon trust that nothing more will come than can be handled each moment so stay in the moment maybe again you are experiencing something that's falling away and experiencing a sense of freedom or freedom will come in with the falling away and you will be grateful for it and maybe you feel a sense of overwhelmingness which is why there's a sentiment of grief like maybe it's not really grief you just feel overwhelmed or maybe it is grief like a little bit of each you know you want this yeah like a little bit of grief a little bit of sadness a little bit of happiness a little bit of anxiety and excitement I feel a extraordinary something extraordinary is going to happen or maybe you don't really recognize how extraordinary it's going to be challenged by something extraordinary there's a wild and impetuous uniqueness to you that deserves to be honored and that's kind of like that beauty card that's in there non-duality is here let your authentic humanity shine forth while also bowing to the inner divine you can be fluent at doing both so you can be fluent at fluent at doing both like and that's how I was feeling with that beauty card in here it's like embracing your unique self peacocks are very unique like their flower their feather pattern is unique and they boldly display their pattern right Gaia. Mother Earth supports you. The energy of Mother Earth is supporting you. Maybe you need to get grounded, spend time in nature. But I really feel like this last bullet point, the universe is working with you. Believe in its subtle magnetism to guide you. And we saw guidance. We see arguments and plans here. Maybe that's a part of the letting go. You know, things are changing. Maybe people don't necessarily agree on the pathway. Something of that sort. And maybe this is the mundane problem that, you know, when you release it or offer it up, you know, it becomes sacrament. Maybe the problems or the arguments are helping you plan. It could be strengthening you in some sort of way. Well, everything to me makes you stronger, right? What doesn't... Um, if it's not the end of your time here, then it's something that is designed to make you stronger. You want that card? This one? Yeah, what did I say? Guidance. Guidance. That's what I was feeling with this Mother Gaia. Energy. Maybe guidance. You're challenged about how you're being guided or which way to go. How you're going to flow forward. You know, that star is over the boat guiding you. And it's over top. It's not in front. So maybe you don't necessarily see your way. Right? Gaia. I was looking at this last bullet point. This last one. So the universe is working with you. 
believe in this subtle magnetism to guide you. Like you're being pulled somewhere. This prudence. We kind of touched on prudence in last night's message. Yesterday's message, I believe. Maybe you need to be careful. We see planner in arguments here. And prudence talks to putting something aside for a rainy day. Kind of like making sure you have a little buffer. You know, what is it? Do you have a buffer for the unexpected? To meet the unexpected. Is that what it is? Yes. Plan for the unexpected. Because I do see arguments here. And, you know, like exploration. I feel like be on the lookout kind of or maybe you're gonna go off somewhere do something you may need to go wandering and trust the unknown that's where the magic lies trusting the unknown staying in the positive or positive staying in the present trusting the unknown you may need to go wandering and trust the unknown. That's where the magic lies. It's something about preparing for a rainy day. Something about good, prudent guidance. Things being let go. Releasing. Freedom. And having gratitude for this new sense of freedom. And being open and staying in the present. Business is here. Yeah. Elevate your awareness and think bigger if you want different results. Don't be intimidated to enter the world of business. You got this. Maybe you were wanting to go into business for yourself. You know what I mean? And do your own thing. And you're being guided and pulled towards that direction. And to let go of your current situation your current attachments is causing you some sort of sentiment, some anxiety, I feel. Yeah, it's causing you some sort of anxiety. It may be stressing you out in some sort of way. It's time to replenish your energy and fully energize and prepare for what's next. Whatever is going on, this transition that you're letting go of, some things, moving into freedom, Develop, you're gonna have a gratitude for it. I feel like you do, but it's like a double edged sword. Like you're grateful, but you're also, you know, it's like I said, like it's the attachment, releasing the attachment and also gaining the freedom at the same time. So it's like, oh, you know, I'm ready to transition into this new space, but I'm also attached to what is contained in this old space. What did I say? Change. Somebody is challenged by the change that is going on in their life right now. Student, maybe the change is leveling you up and you're going to have to learn some new things, right? If you are starting business for yourself, you could be going from working at that um, 9 to 5. I hear Dolly Parton. Working 9 to 5 on a way to make a living. Yeah, recognition is here. And something that you've gotten down to a science. So I feel like maybe you've gotten the thing that you do on a daily basis down to a science is really, you know, like it's like clockwork. You can just like, it's like hotcakes, it's nothing. And then in order to step into this business situation, you're going to have to learn again. You're going to have to put on like a student cap or wear a different type of hat. Yeah, success will find you. You will be successful in whatever it is that you choose to do when you step into this new phase, this next phase. But don't be surprised, you know, or be intimidated by making mistakes. You're learning. Right? It may be something happened in the past, but it says learn from your mistakes and let it go. You will get through it. Letting go. Right? I feel like, again... Stepping out and making this change, this transition, has you stressed out and short. Like, you want to step forward. You want to let the past go and just flow with your inner self is telling you because you know that's a part of your calling, I feel. But you're afraid. Yeah, denial. And you may be denying your emotions. 
you may be holding back from the flow. Perhaps you are insisting that reality be something other than what it is. What are you refusing to see? It's better to live in truth than a lie. It's something about living in your truth. You're denying a part of you. And it could be, you know, your own unique self with the peacock feathers. Um, what it is that you want to do. What it is that you've come to do. You know what I mean? It's something about that. Go. What did I say? With something that you want to do. What did you come to do? What is the goal? Don't let the world lead you. Take the steering wheel and take control of your life. Yeah. I hear focus on creating and managing a budget. You know, again, prepare yourself for the unknown. Have that little bit of a cushion for the just in case. Transporter, you're going somewhere. Like I said, you're in a transitionary period. The office. And maybe you're going from the office to your own business business and office in the past goals and whatever this is is stressing you out the movement towards whatever it is that you're being called to do and you're definitely in a student phase you're going to have to learn some stuff and maybe you're like i said you're denying something you have a gift here maybe you're denying your gift maybe you don't see the stability Maybe you, you're concerned about stability. Yeah. Take control of your finances to create stability in your life. Exercise some prudence and good business planning for your financial stability. You know, so that you're not intimidated. This one. This or this. Both of them. Okay. Yeah. Luck is here. So it's going to be successful and maybe you don't realize that it's going to be successful and teacher is here. Instead of teacher, I feel like mentor or somebody that's going to kind of take you underneath their wing with that student card. You'll be a student. Either you're going to grow to mastery and become a teacher, but I feel like in this phase, you're in the student phase, you're learning and there's going to be a teacher presented to you when the student is ready to teach or arise, right? So I feel like a teacher is going to come into your life into your sphere so that you'll have that support what did i say a teacher a mentor a counselor is going to come in and help you maybe your mental or emotional troubles that's not it which one careers in counseling and psychic work or energy healing may appeal to you Maybe you're somebody that's gifted and you need to learn more about your gift. You want to step into, you know, letting go again that traditional lifestyle and stepping into your service full time. You want this? Do you want this? Life purpose. What did I say? Stepping into your service full time. It is your life purpose. Again, you may be somebody who is psychic, who is gifted and trying to see how does serving, serving in your gift. How can it support you financially? How can you prepare to transition from the traditional into your life purpose, using your gift full time and having it support your life? Your, I feel like established lifestyle. You want this? 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 Yeah. Celebration. Yeah. How does it support your lifestyle? How can you maintain? You've accomplished so much, you will accomplish much more. Yeah. There may be an unforeseen increase in your income. What did I say? Say yes to what you think you can't do. You're denying it. You're afraid to step into it. It can be scary. And I see this right here on the kipper. I said I shuffled the kipper. And look at this. Occupation is here. And high honor. High honor with toil and labor. Whatever it is, this is what you want to do. You want this to be your full time. You want to service in your purpose full time and have it support you. Have it support your lifestyle, your foundation, or what your um, perceived foundation should look like. Maybe this is, it could be. Um, 
I feel like, you know, that's your perception of home. Yeah, perception of home. Perfection. That it should look like a certain way. Give up your perfectionism. It's causing delays in your finances. But not just finances. It's causing a delay in receiving abundance. I feel like heart um, is blocking your joy, I feel. Like, you may have an attachment to the current money that you make in your business, your traditional nine to five type work, and it supports your life in a certain kind of way. That may transition if you go into something that utilizes your gifts or your natural talent, making that your business. And to plan for that, you may need to put away something for a rainy day to support you going from one type of service or just um, partnership to for money into something that is your spiritual your spiritual um, service yeah maybe you're getting signs to say that it's time for you to prepare and to take courage in order to do that I see water your dreams here yeah it's something that you want to do that's really your dream come true which is to serve in your gift and we saw this offering I feel like you're going to have an offer to be able to transition and you're going to be concerned about letting go of what you currently do and moving forward into a different arena. And it is tied to your life purpose or it will give you more capacity to serve in your life purpose. Whatever your gift is, it may take you learning something additional, but you will have a mentor, a help, a counselor. Maybe it's going to balance you, or maybe it will be some sort of justice for you. Something in your life needs to be brought into alignment, right? It may be a career in justice, but I don't think that. Be sure to be honest and ethical in money matters or you'll face the consequences. Be honest and ethical in your money matters. Exercise prudence. Exercise prudence. Be honest and ethical. Don't overspend. Don't get ahead of yourself. Stay in the present and the now. Make sure that you're planning carefully, right? Because you may need to assure, ensure that you have that stability that just in case something happens you have something like you're prepared for it i feel like an opportunity is getting ready to come you could get a lucky break and some financial breakthrough anything you do now will be very prosperous but i don't know if you can see it retail this could be shopping but I think that maybe whatever you're going to do it could take you commercial it could be um, you receiving a green light to go and do something doing something that other people will really want to buy and invest in and uh, support you may have something that you can bring to market and market it and it's going to take good sound financial planning to put you in a place of stability in order to transition yeah, partnership. What did I say? An opportunity for you to partner and transition. Something that you can market. Um, be careful of your deals. Make sure you read the fine print. That it is not something that's roping you into something where you lose your own intellectual property. Or control over self. Your own autonomy. Speaking of control and autonomy. Your girl does not do personal readings. I'm not doing personal readings. So if you see my image anywhere, people offering you readings, it is not me. It is not. Um, yeah, I haven't figured out how to offer personal readings in a way where you guys don't get scammed. If I do a reading, it would definitely be coordinated and it would be like video call or something like that. So you can see me. Um, I can see you, I can read your energy, that kind of thing. Um, it says you don't have to do it alone. Make use of available resources. I, I'm called back to that counselor and teacher card, like a mentor, somebody that wants to partner with you, in a sense. Embrace the wisdom of the unknown. There's something in the unknown that's working here that you just can't see. Anything else in here, beloved? Yes. 
something in the unknown that you can't see, that you don't know. I feel things are being woven together. Yeah, take action. The answer is going to be yes. You know, when you are ready to take action, when this um, presents itself, the answer is going to be yes. And it's calling you to do something that you think that you cannot do. That's the challenge. Just say yes to something you think that you can't do. How am I going to do this? Do I have enough money? Do I have the financial stability again to transition? Do I have enough money? Do I have the financial stability to transition? And once you take the opportunity to step into the unknown and go for it, it's going to prosper. It is. Anything else in here, beloved? No. Any energy? Motivator is here, though, at the bottom. Comfort here and take a risk. Yeah. You're going to have to take the risk. Again, say yes to the things that you think you can't do. Real estate. I feel like a new foundation. We talked about home. Like, does it really give you the ability to maintain your current lifestyle? And maybe that's what the issue is. Say yes to the things that you can't do. So whatever you're being pulled towards, what's magnetizing you in the, in, the, in the universe, karma is here. Is this good karma? This is bad karma. Bad karma for something. It's in the reverse. Let's read it. There's nothing from the past life that can't be addressed in the current life. So with it being upside down, I feel like you have addressed your karma, it's been released, you've paid your karmatic debt, and it's time for you to move forward, right? There's nothing from a past life that can't be addressed. So you have addressed your past life issues, and that is over with. And now you're moving forward into a whole new space. Who's speaking? Omega. Yeah, you 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 dealt with your past life karma and now it's time for you to move forward. And I think you're going to move forward into your life purpose and you might be concerned about you know embracing the unknown and seeing how this is going to work out for your good that you're safe in doing this you're safe and you're secure not necessarily work out for your good because i feel like your purpose is something bigger with the spirituality humility remain humble allow me divine to always accept the right assistance that's that teacher counselor energy yes right poking right at it to put my hand right on it there's going to be help there's going to be someone who will come again when the student is ready the teacher will appear I welcome your help in every way and I delight in receiving it delight in receiving help be humble I feel like there's somebody that's going to be wise it's going to be a wise um, teacher counselor guide that's coming towards you with the owls really pointing towards the owl somebody that's very very wise spiritually wise very wise in whatever this craft is to help guide you, to grow you up, to develop you in this way. Anything else, beloved? Yes? Okay. So we have courage and we have patience here. We have work-life balance. Split on work-life balance. So I feel like balancing out this work-life. Sasha just took off from something. Is there something here, beloved? Yeah. We see self-worth. I see effort. I see wisdom. Being yourself. We see organization and mind games. You know, mindfulness. Being yourself. Again, that's that beauty card I was feeling out of this green deck. It's about being yourself and letting your uniqueness show. And it says each person is unique. N certainly nobody is perfect. We gain strength and confidence from accepting who we are and not letting our imperfections dominate our self-perception. 
Act naturally. The true love and affection we get from others is always based on the things we really are and not anything we pretend to be. So be yourself. Be yourself. Right? Just being your whole wheat self will bring in everything. You will attract true, natural, organic people to you. You may be losing people who are just not for you. Right? You may be losing... Um, people who don't see you as who you are now patience is here again anything else beloved no friendships what did i say and friendship is in reverse that says friendship right yeah friendship is in reverse i don't got my spectacles on it feels a little blurry it says i am reliable and generous generous friend somebody around you is not they're not and you're you're losing that friendship and then maybe that's who you're arguing with right it could be somebody that's close to you somebody that's a friend I hear a confidant you know somebody that's been with you um, in some sort of way and there's arguments maybe about the plans that you want to take the direction you want to go and um, being sure that you're prepared may be a cause for concern but you can mitigate mitigate any money concerns by being prudent and understanding that you need to have something set aside maybe you fund it you know just put a little bit aside a little bit a little bit a little bit so that you can be ready for anything that may happen you know and that is embracing the wisdom of the unknown you have something set aside for the little incidentals that come up. But I feel like this whole thing, for the most part, is going to be blessed. Like, it's not going to be too much complication in it, except for the fact of losing this friendship. Having the confidence of a true friend, knowing that they will be there for you when you need support, is one of life's most valuable gifts. Somebody is not going to be there. We need to remember not to take such things for granted. I feel like somebody takes you for granted. They, to nurture our friendships and to show our willingness to give our friends as much love and support as we hope to receive from them. You're not able to receive love and support from this person the way that you offer it out and it's going to cause strife. Either it's causing strife now and you have to let go because letting go is down here. I no longer want this fiery ring of resentment to block the good, release me from its bonds. It's something about resentment and having to let go. Something about that. Yeah, spontaneity is here. Regrets, generosity. It's going to happen. It may be spontaneous. You may not see having to release this thing coming. Or um, it's something about this situation that feels... Unex yeah, something unexpected is going to happen. Something that's going to seem like it's going to pop up out of the blue. Mindfulness, I'm being called to. Mindful messages. We saw water in your dreams at first, right? Yeah, mirror and casting spells is here. Mirror. In order to change my life outside, I need to change inside. Once I am open to this change, my exterior will really begin to mirror these new shifts coming my way. Something is definitely coming your way, but make sure you do the mirror work and um, really get in there and face your shadows, you know, so that you can really be your authentic self. And once you align to your authentic self, you will push away any fake relationships. They won't be able to stand in your enhanced light. They just won't. In order to change again my life on the outside, I need to change on the inside. Once I am open to this change, my exterior reality will begin to mirror those new shifts. It will push away again, repel or rebuke anything that is not aligned to you. Anything it won't anything that doesn't mirror you. Coming my way. Unique opportunities aligned with my desires present themselves to me. I attract all I need to make my dreams a reality. You will attract all that you need. You see stability and luck and your goals are here. Say yes to what you think that you cannot do. Embrace the wisdom of the unknown. When you are aligned to 
your life purpose and you make that shift on the inside the universe will call in you will have that you will be operating in alignment with the universe Gaia right you will be magnetizing all of these things to you they will be coming in and I feel like they will come in with ease and in order to ease your own mind maybe do a little bit more prudent planning because you know you want to shift and the prudent planning actually tells the universe that you are ready to shift. You are ready for the shift. You are ready for the change because you are aligning your actions and your heart's desires are coming into alignment. And then it will call out that and you will receive it in. And of course, that transition is going to have things that are no longer aligned to you fall away. And as they fall away, you may have a sense of sentiment, a grief, a sense of sentiment. You will have a sense, a sentiment of grief, of loss, that feeling of having to release things. And it may, you know, again, you release that up into the eternal, the most high. And it will turn those little mundane issues into something sacrament. There is magic and miracles all around me. Where others see coincidence, I see evidence of life synchronicities. Again, it will just start to come in to you. All um, you need, every resource will just come in. And it'll look like synchronicity, but it's not. It, it's not. it will look like coincidences, but it's not coincidence. It is the universe syncopating all things. It is a good word that you are speaking out, moving forward, and it will call everything back onto you as long as you stay in alignment with the word that you are calling. Yes, I love feeling life with wonder and magic. It's way more fun that way. You're going to have fun doing what you do, and you're going to love it because it's aligned with your life purpose, and the universe will support you in doing that work. It's your personal journey. It is your personal journey. And you will end up releasing some friends along the way. Subconscious mind. I realize that subconscious beliefs or programs may be holding me back from my desires. For example, if I want money, I may not have been, I may have been told things growing up that I subconsciously consciously hold on to. It's something with your money habits that you have been groomed and you may need to learn something new. We see planner and financial planning. Maybe that's a thing. Maybe take a course or something like that. You know, get a financial counselor, some a mentor, just learn something different about how to uh, budget so that you can support your investment and in transitioning and investing into you so that you can get into your life purpose. I may have been told things growing up that I am subconsciously holding on to. So I go back to my past, release, right? Release those beliefs so that they anything that no longer aligns and substitute them for ones that do, right? Learning something new. And stay playful, stay joyful. It's not personal. This friendship that may be released, know that it's not personal. It is about them and not about you. You stay aligned to self and to your personal journey and everything will be okay. People's reactions or opinions of me are not really about me at all. They tend to project their own insecurities or fears onto one another. So when someone speaks unkindly to me, I'll remember that they have something going on that has nothing to do with me. Yeah, you have a, a friend that's not going to understand it. Nurture yourself, take care of you. You want this card? Okay. Maybe you're not, because I feel this isn't a challenge in some sort of way. Through all of this, take care of you. It's going to be important. We see play again. Playful and play again. Do something to change your energy. Stay lighthearted. And do that in the present. Because you're getting ready to step forward, move forward. I see two. Personal journey and present. 
And we had the card that says stay in the present. You're going on a journey. You're moving forward. You're stepping up, right? We see right now, stay in the present and don't get too far ahead of the flow. You'll soon trust that nothing will come, more will come than that can be handled in each moment. You will be able to handle moment by moment by moment by staying in the present. In this present moment, I have nothing to worry about. I take life step by step as I follow my desires and my intuition. And we saw intuition down here. Intuition. Following your intuition. Right? Joyfully overcoming any bumps along the way. Any bumps, like any financial pop-ups, the ability to support this transition, right? When I live like th life like this, I don't have to worry about the future. You don't. It will work out for your good because you're aligning with your life purpose. Each person's road to the inner Lord is extraordinary and is personal. Your own personal journey. And if anybody got a problem with it, know that that's not your problem. It's not your issue. And it's not personal. It's their issue. Right? How liberating to listen inside and sense moment to moment what's needed. Moment to moment. Stay in the present. Anything else? No. Subconscious mind. Release any old beliefs and old habits. It could be things from past life. It could be things from growing up. It could be the way that you were raised. Again, traditional to very non-traditional. Some people are not going to like it. You may um, sense a uh, resistance. Maybe there's going to be some tough conversations that feel like arguments. But as long as you are prudent and you plan appropriately, you can get through it. You may sense a, a couple of sentiments like grief and... Uh, um, grief, uh, yeah, I just really feel grief, like loss, right, because anytime you lose people that you've been close to, people that you consider friends who just don't quite get where you're at and where you're going, um, it's going to feel a certain kind of way, you're going to feel a certain kind of way about it, but again, remember, it's not about them, it's about you. And what it is that you're called to do. And if you are working in alignment with your purpose, then that's all that you need to worry about. You know? Align, allow me, Divine, to always accept the right assistance. I welcome your help in every way, and I delight in receiving it. You're going to have help along the way, and I think that you're going to love it. It's going to feel like magic to you. And things are going to work out just fine. It's going to be perfectly imperfect give up your perfectionism you'll never get ahead if you don't overcome your fear and know that you are enough you are anything else beloved no i say i say i say i say i say i say i say, I say. this is it know this that we love you we love you just like we love the alpha and we love the omega the beginning and the ending yes we love the wisdom the infinite the why did i say it like that i don't know but it is it's wisdom it is the intelligence it is the principal thing and it moves forward on the breath on the breath of life the holy chi the life force that connects all things stop sigh what if she is over here just tearing at this gift bag? I guess we'll just let her be. Anywho, y'all. Know that I love you again. I don't know. The breath goes out before us and the word does. They, they move in tandem. It's a dynamic duo. Speak out kindness and goodness over your life. And know that you can do it. Say yes to the things that you think you cannot do. And when the time is right, the opportunity will present itself. And I believe that you will embrace the unknown. 
and say yes and take the action to move forward. So prepare. Put a little bucket, you know, and drop some seeds in it, a little bit of coin, so that you have something for a little bit of a rainy day, just in case something pops up along the way. Yeah. Yep. I think it's done for sure now. It's done, done, done. To the next now. I'll shave. Mm -hmm.